accelerate our learning. Of course. The letter U. Yep. Unpack. Okay. So the idea is it's called unpack because mm -hmm. it's like what's in the box. Let's get everything in this particular subject domain. Let's get everything out of the box and see what's the big idea here? What do we have to learn? What's the context of this? What's mm -hmm. the history? Where, where did this come from? If you're taking something like psychology, what do the words even mean? What's the etymology of psychology? Mm -hmm. Where does it come from? Then think about, well, what might be the main ideas? And, and one of the techniques we like is the rule of three, which says, okay, so what are three big ideas from psychology? What are three big books, three big figures in history? And it's just say, what is the, what's the, the higher level stuff? What do we hope to get out of sort of understanding this? Get everything out of the box. First of all, you've got to say, what have you got? And the second part of the unpack is really access to some sort of domain expertise, which okay. could be me and you. So if I wanted to know how to build a community of online learners, um, like the Zenotes community, what I'd do is I would sit you down and say, okay, so what did you do? And you might say, well, actually, a lot of it was by accident, a lot of it was luck, but these are the sorts of principles. So I would want to know from you, because you're the domain expert, sure. exactly, right? So th that's the second phase, is that let's, let's shortcut all the the, 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 the nonsense, let's shortcut all the, so all the textbooks, let's go straight to domain experts mm -hmm. who are practicing, who really have done this. In, in an education context, the domain expert could be a teacher who's taught for 20 years and been in an examiner or something like that. Sure. Um, and then the, the third thing would be, okay, in the unpack, well, we can't learn everything. So we get everything out of the box. We've got access to the domain experts to help us point us, what is gonna be the most important thing? What's gonna be the 80-20 rule on this? What's gonna give us the biggest bang for our bucks, given the time constraints we've yeah. got, uh, and then come up with so, sort of a a goal for this 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 thing. I mean, so in an education context, I mean, what what would that look like? I mean, it might be what the what a syllabus has already done, yeah, right? Because they, yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's kind of unpack. I, I find a, a slightly more younger analogy a little bit more relevant here. As you were speaking, unpacking sounds like taking a le Lego box, putting it out taking all the Lego yes. pieces out, putting it in, in a cer yes. certain arrangement so to, to see what pieces yeah. are available, then going and asking your older brother or, or looking online for different yeah. things you can build with the... With that the, basic the, raw material. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then going about and doing That's it. That's brilliant. And then the set of instructions, which are, are kind of the domain mm. expert's guidance on how to go from where you are now with a whole bunch of Lego pieces to, to finally building something. That's brilliant. Okay. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's really yeah. good. Love that. And then... So, so the idea by the end of the U, the end of the unpack, is that you've got this kind of instruction set. Yeah. You've got a process to follow. You've got a map of your journey through the rest of the, the phases in the, in the whole kind of sprint, this whole UFAST thing. So yeah. let me, give me three things to just kind of summarize it. So unpack, I've got my, I've, I have all the things that I, all my assets. Yeah. I have my access to domain experts. Yeah. And I have a map. A map, but that's it. Yeah. Cool. That's it. Those are the three magic things. Okay, so think about, um, go to, let's say, yourself at school and you're doing further maths on your own. I mean, how would something like the unpack at the beginning of, sort of deciding what to do, how might that be applied to, say, you? And what would you do? I guess it would be about going to the syllabus, going yeah. to find the right textbooks, the right online video resources. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of, the, kind of collecting my, yeah. putting my... Your assets, your resources. Yeah, yeah. Putting it all yeah. together. Finding someone who had the expertise. I didn't have that at yeah. my school, but I went online and found a really amazing textbook writer. From like Singapore yeah. or yeah. somewhere like yeah. that. So I just reached it? out over yeah. email exactly. and found myself my domain expert. Yeah. Not someone who's going to teach me, but someone who I could reach out to in my most darkest despairs, you know? Yeah. Someone who could like just kind of put me in the right path. Yeah. Um, and then I put a map together, exactly yeah. as you said. I, I, I sat down and I looked at the term and looked at the number of weeks I had, looked at the number of lessons I could slot out. Um, and just kind of scribbled yeah. in what syllabus coverage I wanted to do, how long yeah. I wanted to spend on it, um, what were my kind of milestones during the during the journey when I had my mocks to do, when I had my final exams to do. Mm. And yeah, it was That's actually great. those three things. Yeah. yeah, there you go. What's really interesting is what we're trying to do, of course, is we're not trying to reinvent the wheel. We're just trying to formalize the wheel a little bit so people can build their own wheels, really. Yeah. But I think you will do it quite naturally. What the hell is this all about? And then who can help me understand this? Yeah. And then, oh, right now I need to put it together into a, some sort of time constraint, constrained in your case by the examinations, but, but the whole the sprint yeah. idea could be constrained in an afternoon, a week, a month, whatever it is. Yeah. So it's those three components. Perfect. Okay.